Hi and welcome to the second tutorial on CamDraw. I'll show you some more tricks today and I suggest that you watch till the end and do not skip otherwise you may miss some important tricks. So let's start. Right so we are on our CamDraw interface. Uh, let's start and open a new document. So this is a new document in ACS format. So here it is. Uh, let's start with a very simple molecule and just come here and draw a chain from here and by default it shows five carbon atoms so when you click add it will draw a chain of five carbon atoms that is pentane. And when you select it if it looks smaller to you I'll just drag it from a corner and just try to enlarge it and it asks you to whether you want to keep or change the setting I'll click yes and you will see that the bond boldness will increase and there it is so it looks a little bolder now I'll add something to this chain uh, so let's click on this bond here single bond and when you bring your cursor here you will see this highlighter is on so you just click it and here it is so we have added a bond and let's add some functional groups to it so you just come here to the text and bring your cursor here it's highlighted you click it and let's add a hydroxyl group okay that's fine you want to add another functional group you can draw it manually from here you can add bonds or you can just come here to the templates and see if we can find some functional groups here so here it is and let's see if we can add this carbonyl group okay let's select it and I want to add it here so the highlighter is on just click it here and here it is so it's pretty simple you can add functional groups from here or you can draw this double bond manually and then write an oxygen here Okay, so now let's play with this molecule. But before that, uh, what you need to check is, is that you have to keep your chemical warnings on. So if you violate valency somewhere, it will give you a warning. So you won't draw an incorrect structure. The next thing that you want to keep is the fixed lengths and fixed angles. And you can also uh, keep stereochemistry. So if you click here, show stereochemistry, it will also show you stereochemistry. You just click yes. Okay. We have a stereo center right here, but it's not showing any stereochemistry here. Why? Because we have drawn this molecule in 2D. So let's just make it 3D with this bond, this wedged bond. I want to change this. A solid line to a wedge and here it is and see it automatically gives you the stereochemistry that is R on this stereocenter okay I'll just uh, delete this stereochemistry for now okay so let's select it and uh, if you don't like the color you can change the colors let's see if we what we have so you just change the color from here and see the whole molecule is blue now if you want to keep the functional groups in a different color you just select that part like the OH here and uh, let's bring it red okay so it's red now if you want to keep this oxygen in a different color let's keep it in blue okay there it is even in the chain if you want to show the bond in a different color uh, from the rest so you just select that bond and change the color okay it looks fine now you just select this structure and right click on it and you see a lot of options uh, we'll check each of them one by one so here you have the cut option so you can cut your structure you can copy it and then paste it somewhere else can delete it or clear it from here let's try one of them uh, so first you click copy so it's copied you want to paste it somewhere you just click somewhere else and paste it from here you can also use the control C and control V options and that's also easier I don't 
want it here so I just delete it again select it and then right click again let's see another option you can add a frame if you want to add a frame to this uh, molecule like a rectangle okay so it's framed now in a rectangle if you don't like this rectangle just get rid of it delete it or uh, control Z undo it uh, let's see if we can have a better frame okay we have a rectangle with a shadow let's try this okay if you like it you can keep it uh, I'll delete it for now All right let's see some other options okay uh, you can flip the molecule as well so let's see if we can flip it flip horizontal means that the molecule will flip horizontally and see the OH has come here the carbonyl has gone to the left hand side uh, you flip it back again to the original positions you can flip it vertically as well see we flip it back now or you can rotate it to any degrees of uh, at your will so you have the angles here and you want to rotate it clockwise CW means clockwise CCW means counterclockwise so you just give it an angle like say 90 degrees and we want to rotate it clockwise so okay so it's rotated clockwise 90 degrees I'll undo it again and then right click back here you can scale it uh, okay here we have the object settings the object settings you can find here as well in this menu bar so let's see what we have here okay so we have the object settings now and here you see the line width the bowl width the margin width the hash spacing fixed lengths and uh, so you can change it uh, at your will you want the angles uh, the colors from here so you can change whatever you want it to be and let's see the colors are here so you can change the colors from here as well okay you have the atom properties here so you can change the properties or you can change the dimensions the size from here we have the bonds here okay so what we have in the bonds is like a single bond what you want the single bonds to be uh, to look like in the structure so here it is plane and ball wedge that is uh, the plane bonds and the ball wedged bonds so let's see if we can change it let's change the plane to dash see all the bonds are dashed now and there are no double bonds so you have destroyed your structure okay let's undo it again and uh, let's see we have the double bonds as well the triple bonds you want to change them you can change it at your will you want to change the style or the font or the size of the text that you have in the structures so we have an oxygen and a hydroxyl group if you think it's larger so you can reduce it is at 26.36 now if you want to reduce it to say 18 so just click here and okay if you click yes the size will reduce okay so it looks a little better now and you want to change the style or even the font so it is in Arial if you want to keep it in Time New Roman okay click OK and here it is then we have the brackets the curves we don't have any curves here we don't have any tables here we have we don't have any TLC plate here's the molecule you can check the structure you can clean up the structure and uh, here we have all the analysis okay uh, I'll just uh, move it to some other place in the uh, screen oops I've destroyed the structure okay don't worry I've got it covered I just click on it double click and it's selected just go to the structure clean it up okay here it is it's cleaned up if you don't like it click it once more let's see if we have a better version if you still don't like it 
click it again create it up again okay here we have but the stereochemistry is inverted let's see if we can bring it okay we can't bring it back so you just click the wedge bond here again and change it okay so we have the structure again so you don't worry if you drag it and make it ugly you can just come here and clean it up okay let's see if we can check the chemical warnings uh, so if you draw a bond here uh, okay we have this carbon here and it has already formed four bonds so let's see if we can add another bond a fifth bond to carbon and you see this small red square here that is the chemical warning so if you see this square in your structure it means there's some problem in your structure maybe you have violated some chemistry rules so here we have five bonds for the carbon and you should have only four so you just delete one of them and see that square is gone okay what i wanted to show you is this thing here analysis so you can add the name of the molecule the chemical formula the exact mass the molecular weight and if you click all you'll get everything so here is the name of the molecule along with its stereochemistry the chemical formula here the exact mass is here the molecular weight is here and by z and even the elemental analysis is here so these are all the information that you need about a molecule all right let me show you one more thing and then we sign off from this video i'll just uh, select everything control a and delete it okay so come to the structure and here you have convert name to structure if you want to draw the structure of a molecule and it's complicated you, you know the name it's a well-known molecule so you just write it here so i've written pentane is deleted and i add another name quercetin it's a famous antioxidant uh, flavonoid so you write quercetin here and you click ok and here it is so you can even draw a complicated molecule with just one click if you know the correct name of that molecule so these are some of the tricks that you should apply while working on cam draw and it makes life pretty much easier we'll discuss some more tricks and more options in the upcoming video thank you so much for watching